But we're here. It's time. You know it's time. You know it's fresh, boy. It's the mold. 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 I'm back on the track with a superstar status. Crazy crossovers. I'm here to let them have it. 2K Madden. It's all the same. I play so great, baby. About to rip up the game. The channel just leaking. People keep sleeping. Godzilla mode. We the best kept secret. This is just an intro. Open up your window. Take time to check out the video. Yo, what's good? Welcome back to Godzilla Mode, and today I have another great video for you guys. All right, in today's video, I will be showing you guys one of the best playbooks, offensive playbooks, in Madden 23. Now, this formation was probably the best formation last year uh, in Madden 22 because you can bomb out of it, and the bomb was basically unstoppable. But the formation is called. It is the bunch, oh my fault, it's the bunch tight end uh, offensive formation, all right? Now look, I don't know, it's it's really good now. Like, at the beginning of the game, it wasn't as good because a lot of people wasn't really running it. But, and like, patches and stuff, and stuff did not come out. But this is one of the best um, formations in the game right now, all right? But look, before we get into it, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get right into the video, all right? So, first thing that you guys want to do is we are in a run heavy playbook, um, offensive playbook. All right, and then the first thing that you guys want to do, I have a very fast receiver right here, where my boy Schwartz is at. You want to have a great route runner receiver right here, and just like a tall or just another great receiver right here, right? Let's go ahead and click that. And the plays you want to have in your auto balls is A spot, T E corner, inside switch, inside cross. Now the reason I don't have I don't have P A cross all cross because that's the play I will be coming out in, and then I will auto ball the other plays and things of that nature. All right. So uh, yeah, and the reason why we are in run heavy is because it only this is the only formation that has T E corner and inside switch all right so none of the reason why we are in uh, uh this play this playbook all right so the first is come on pa all cross now we all know about this play but this play you actually can bomb this year out of this play right so what you guys want to do is go against cover four put y if you're on the right hash mark see what my qb is up on that right side of them the hash marks the lines actually you run it to the left side all right so put y on a streak uh, block your tight end, but when you block, make sure you double team this outside guy because you do not want to leave him um, by himself on an island against a great pass rush. All right, so he's gonna get help right there. Boom! Oh, that's my fault. That's bad. That's bad. Uh, what is it called? That is bad pocket by me. That's my fault. So let's go and do that one more time. Right, let's do that one more time. One more boom, boom, boom. Block him. Now we're good. All right, so we're good. Block, block, and look at why right there. He's just gonna outrun that that guy right there. That's a bad free for him, but look we still caught it and that's an easy touchdown and the reason why that guy he was wide open is because that safety he didn't know should he run with the uh the the, the deep post or should he run with the uh the streak so as you guys can see look at the fate right here watch this now do you see cooper boom right there boom and then you got schwartz right here look at schwartz he's gone that, that's a touchdown right there so that's why you want to have a very very fast receiver right there because 90% of the time he's just gonna outrun that guy. He's gonna uh yeah, he's gonna outrun all the safeties that's right there and things of that nature. Alright, so let's go run it one more time. As you guys can see, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now look at X right here. That's wide open. That's wide open. And it doesn't even matter how tall he is, alright? Now the taller and faster the better. But if you don't have a, a height, then run, put speed right there, alright? Um, another good thing is that B rod the B rod is also it gets open now if you do run a default It beats man cover because that that's not a regular drag route It's like he goes up and then turns it's like a short slam But it, just run a default don't put a, a, your own drag on the field Or what you guys can do is put B on the zig like this, but make sure you guys have it like this All right, remember that is against cover four now uh, This play against oh, I forgot. Let me go ahead and come back out and get cover for my fault cover four right there now the next play is T A spot, all right? Remember, always run it to the left side if you're on the right hash mark. The reason this play is so good, because of that A route from the tight end, it beats man coverage, and it really just messes up people who use it because they don't know if he's going right, left, and it's just a great route by the tight end, default by the tight end, all right? Uh, the one thing I do do with this play is just go ahead and put X on a uh, fade or a streak and then mush them over to the left like this, and then just do something like this. Now you see you got Y on the flat that's open. You got Y right here against cover four. As long as you lead pass it down and put that guy on a streak 
or fade it will move that safety to keep going and that wide route should get open but as you guys can see you did have against cover four that flat route is going to get open about 90 percent of the time so as you guys can see look at this dpj number 11 he is going that's a, that's a easy 5 10 and remember he's going to get blocks picked up for him as long as you break off this one tackle rest of it it should be open field for you guys all right so that's why i like uh having a default um flat route on the field and like i said that tight end route is also great that right just on my fault i meant the high ball i didn't mean that free form it because when you do a uh, high ball or flat route it gets some better uh what is it called better animation to run out the catch because if you don't as you guys can see you're not going to get a good run at, run out the catch um what is it called animation right there so boom okay that's not how i want to do it but okay but as you guys can see the flat route is open break one tackle on you guys should be good and like i said that tight end route is just one of the best in the game uh one of the best default tight end route boom watch the middle and he's wide open right there that's easy easy money against cover four the next play like i said in its audibles is the um the legendary te corner shot out to civil um He's, this is one of his favorite plays in the game. But one thing I do love about this play is the double, is the three, it's two corner routes and one, um, what is it called? In post, post in route right there, all right? Um, it's basically the same setup. What you guys want, you can run a default like this, but if, if you don't, if they are in cover four, I usually just do something like this. And then put him on the streak and then put A on a in route like this. I'm gonna tell you guys why. So wait for it. Boom, the in route and watch the Y right there. He's gonna get open. And that's going to be wide, wide open. Now, if you don't put your tight end on that end row, the reason why you do that is because it brings down this uh, set. Because this is a deep uh, corner route from the wide receiver, the side receiver, uh, number two right there. So, as you guys can see, he's going to be running, going to be running. And as you guys can see, this this defender right here, he's that's the flat defender. And when you put that end route on the field, it's going to bring him down just a little bit, just enough time to come in to try to check that. Because that this is a curl right here. The, the guy that's, on the, that's checking him, that is a uh, hook curl that's actually right, that's matching on to him and then he's going to eventually leave from him, and then that curl flat is going to run with it which should leave this guy wide open and then schwartz right here he's going to move that deep safety which is the outside quarter he's going to match on to him number 44 which is defender is going to match on to him and my boy should be wide open now if you look up to get um a open i mean b open let's go ahead and put a on a uh, in i mean a, a streak block your tight i mean a halfback and then let's see x where he's at or you can put x on a streak like this or fade most make sure you motion him over and then snap it now watch b through the middle right here he should get open right here boom right there lead pass it down that's an easy easy dot through the middle and you guys should be good right there right like i said this is one of the best offensive playbook uh formations in the game um and run heavy is all together it's, it's a great it's a solid playbook but like i said it has a play te corner and inside switch now inside switch is one of my favorite plays in the game because of that x route that x route it destroys man coverage and people just don't like running away especially when you have a very fast receiver on the field so one thing that i do with this play is going to put y on a fate or a street put b on a uh Z, and then run it like this and i'll use my first read uh, usually be the halfback if not then the b route but if i'm looking for something you know more inside the field or deeper i usually just look for the x route right there so let's go and run that play again boom boom like this and then watch watch for the uh x route right here through the middle uh right there it should get over that linebacker or whoever's right there it's gonna as long as you throw it uh at the right time it should get open and then you got that post from the tight i mean that you yeah, the uh corner route from the tight end which is also a great great uh route if it does get open if it does get open if it don't then you don't really run it but right you guys can see i free formed it down against cover four and that is wide open and the reason i just show you guys against cover four because cover four is one of the best passing uh defenses in the game right now and cover three is people a lot of people don't really run it unless they're blitzing you but if it's cover three it's you should be easy to bomb that so i just like to show you cover four because it's one of the best passing defenses in the game right now um yeah like i said that ace route i mean the ace route is one of the best in the game and it all uh it beats beats man coverage really good especially with a great um especially with a great what is it called uh a, a speedy receiver all right so that's why i like running that play and then the other other play the last one least play is inside cross now i don't really run this play too much but it is another great play um i mean it's just uh, this play is completely up to you guys if you want to keep it in your audibles 
I really just I like, just have to use these three plays and then just put whatever I like at, at that last one. But this is also a great play. This is really just like a great bomb player, right? I don't really recommend running this like all the time. But you either can motion this guy out your speedy receiver and run it like this, or you can just leave him where he's at. But remember, when you're going for a bomb play, has as much time in the pocket as possible. So yeah, make sure you do that. Boom, boom, we good. We should be good. Should be good. Make sure you have time. And like I said, against cover four, it, I mean with a speedy receiver. It, with this play, it might get open, but that other play I showed you guys will get open 100% of the time, which is the default one right here. This one, put a Y on the fade, block your tight end, put a uh, double T him, and then ID him. Read the B route, where it's at, right there, stay in the pocket, stay in the pocket. And like I said, X or Y is going to get open, and you guys should be good, all right? This is why I say this is one of the best playbooks, one of the best offensive playbooks in the game. Um, my playbooks, but formations in the game, and it just like I said, I just like it because it was really, really meta last year, and it's good that it's back this way. Another great play is that curl flat corner. It's a that is a it, it's one of the deep corner routes in the game. It's goes like 30 yards down the field. That play really takes a lot of time to develop, but you also you can take an inside cross out and put that play in there. Um, but like I said, let me just show you guys PA cross all cross against a cover three. I don't know what that's come out and against a man coverage a man coverage look man, cover one hole right here uh, now I, with this play against man coverage it is a great play um, one thing I do, you can do is put a on a in route like this and, uh, leave X where he's at on that deep post route and then put uh, Y on a slant and then put B on a uh, zig like this and then boom like this Mo make sure he motion over outside the numbers B right there should be open that should get open that's an easy, easy dot right there. And the reason why I say wait until he get all the way out the numbers because you want the in route from the tight end to be ran first and you don't want them colliding into each other. So that's why I say uh, make sure you have it. Wait till he get outside of the numbers right here. Boom, boom, boom. There right there. Now watch A. You have A right there. You got Y. And then look at the X route. As long as you have a speedy receiver, he is going to get open 90% of the time. And that is a 96 speed receiver. So that's why I say have him... Um, Make sure you have him at that outside guy because a, a bomb play against you can you can bomb basically cover three, cover four, and man coverage. All right. Now TE corner against man coverage. This is why this play is so good because it just it beats man coverage so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put X on a zig like this and just watch. Look at Y right here. Look at Y. He's actually he's wide open. I just gonna high ball it free form. And that is an easy, easy dot because that was underneath man coverage and he just fried him right there. So I was able to get that over the top of that DB. And let's go ahead and run this play again. Look at the Now watch X. You got X right there. But that's a great man coverage guy right there. And B actually, he actually got opening in, in the, through the middle, which is that uh, post end route right there. And then you got the tight end route, which is also good. But this is another great uh, route. And that's a uh, linebacker. So I'm going to high ball it right there. And he should be good. Make sure when you have a linebacker on a tight end, or any receiver high ball it because they will not be able to intercept you all right make sure you guys high ball it all right now oh another thing you guys can do is you can also put this guy on fade on the fade block your halfback and to do something like this because he's gonna if he's a if he's a very fast receiver he should outrun that guy whoever's checking him all right and make sure you guys uh when you lie pass make sure you free form lie pass it because if you don't he will get underthrown and you just can't tap the button because if you do he's gonna he's gonna get uh what is it called it's gonna get outthrown you don't want that all right i mean he's gonna get underthrown you want to over i rather uh, overthrow than underthrow all right um the next play is this play x spot that corner route from the uh y guy is also it's really really good i usually put him on a slant put him on the slant and then like this now watch oh no 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 my fault my fault not a slant not do not two cents put b on a uh, uh when i'm out of fade but a street leave a on the route that he's on and then put x on a slant like this so watch a watch this slant and then you got two routes through the middle and that was a bad that was a bad lead pass by me but i should have lead passed it more through the middle but there's going to run the play one more get one more time so wait for it wait for it wait for it oh no that's actually this is the run play this is the run play let me go ahead and show you guys what i'm right right, 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 right. so go ahead and put x on a uh slant put b on a streak block your uh half back like this and then wait for it boom now watch just watch it right here watch it right here watch a right here watch a right there free form and he should be good and it's going to beat that man coverage because it's like a double move from the tight end and, and it should be good all right and it, it's going to beat man coverage especially if you have abilities all right now remember i'm also showing you guys this again without abilities all right 
But uh, yeah, this is all the great plays you guys can run. Remember, you also can put your hat back on the route if you want to. Simple table route, simple, uh, yes, left or right doesn't really matter. It just really depends on what you guys want to do. Um, I don't know why I'm highballing it, but Kareem Hunt is a great halfback, man. I really wish the Browns had a better record, but it, well, until we get Deshaun Watson and the defense pick up, we should be good. Um, but uh, yeah, this is basically the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I showed you guys how to beat basically all the meta like defenses in the game because meta coverage, I know with inside shades, outside shades, it's very, very hard to beat it. I don't know. I might as well just show you guys the one against cover three right here. Cover three seam right here. Let's go ahead and just all, I, all you simply want to do, you can tell if it's, if it's cover three. If there's a one D, uh, DB at the top of the screen right there, as you guys can see, it's only one DB, which is that middle third. It's easy to bomb. Just go ahead and put Y on the fade. Block your tight end because you want to have as much time in the pocket to throw a bomb play. Uh, ID. Ooh, oh, it's not letting not me ID right there. Boom. And then leave B where he's at. It's basically the same one against cover four. Run a little bit to the right. And look at X right there. He's going to get wide open, all right? It's really simple, simple, easy to uh, bomb cover three. This is not even my main offense. And I run, it, I, I run my main offense, which is tight flex and trips to E. And I have so many bomb plays to beat cover three, all right? But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.